Hey guys, Barry here from the Brood Palette. So I'm here in Vermont at the Pinecrest Motel and Cabins. I wish we were staying here one more night. I'll probably include some video and picture of just the grounds of this area um, in this video um, because it's beautiful and each cabin has a grill and its own picnic table and it's just really, really beautiful place to stay when you're visiting breweries in the area in Vermont. So um, we are staying here specifically though because it was on the Hell Farmstead's website that this was where, somewhere close that you could stay if you're visiting the brewery. So, um, so I, yeah, yesterday, uh, Tuesday, I went to, I did a, but we drove up to Vermont, got a little lost, but we made it, and we went and did a bunch of touristy stuff, like the Vermont Teddy Bear Factory and Ben and Jerry's, but then we stopped at a craft beer store in Waterbury called the Craft Beer Cellar, uh, which is on Elm Street, I'll include all the info in this blog post or in the description of this video, um, and I bought some really cool beers that I'll show you. And then we went to a bar, which is around the corner, called Prohibition Pig, which is actually on the site of the former Alchemist Brew Pub. And I also was able to go there and have a few really good beers. I had the um, Lawson's Finest Liquid um, Sunshine Double IPA, or a Sip of Sunshine Double IPA. It was really, really good. Um, I had the Founders Dissenter Imperial IPL. Which I, they had in the bottle at the store, but I, I wanted to save money for Hill Farmstead, so I didn't buy the $12 bottle, but it was really, really good and definitely worth the money if you can get it. And lastly, I had a Hill Farmstead beer they had on top of Session Pale Ale called Walden, which I really, really enjoyed. So the beers that I did get from Craft Beer Cellar, they didn't have Petty Topper because they get it on Wednesdays and I went there on Tuesday, and now we're way out of the way from there, over an hour away. So unless they have some at the Alchemist, I'm not going to be able to get any of this trip, but I yet. Yeah, but I should know that I've had it many times, and I'm not really bummed that I didn't get it because uh, I'm sure I'll have other opportunities to drink it in the future. And plus, there are a lot of other double IPAs that are just as good, you know, you know, or on par with Hetty Topper that I can drink and get in New York on a regular basis. So I'll just show you the bunch of beers. The one not East Coast beer I bought was. The Stone 18th Anniversary IPA, the hoppiest golden brown IPA on earth. I had a, at a good price, and I knew that, you know, I'm spending a lot of money on home brewing in New York. So instead of, you know, trudging out to us to one of my bottle shops in New York, it was ready on the shelf. You know, I'll grab a bottle, try it out, you know, and if I like it a lot, and there's still more on the shelves in New York, then I'll get some more. Um, then um, I got some Heady Topper or Alchemist. Coasters, I like collecting coasters. Um, and then for the beers, I got three beers from the Jack's Abbey Brewery, which distributes, I think, to upstate New York, but not to New York City yet. Um, so I bought three of their beers to try. Um, so I bought their their Hopstitution Extra Pale Lager because they brew all lagers. Um, I got their Mass Rising Double India Pale Lager. And I got their uh, their hoppy black lager, which is called Cascade, uh, their Cascadian Schwartz beer. So basically, they're you know their version of a black IPA, but in the lager form. Um, then from a really cool brewery, um, which I think one of the brewers, I'm pretty sure one of the brewers, was a, one of the formal barrel or barrel people at Goose Island, John Loeffler, I think is his name. Um, they started a brewing company called Off Color Brewing, and this is their Apex Predator. It's a third trophic level farmhouse ale at 6.5% and 25 IBU. So I'm really looking forward to finally trying one of their beers. And then moving on, some even some more hoppy beers I got from the Hop Valley Brewing Company in Oregon because um, they carry some cool Oregon beers that I can't get in New York. I got their Citrus, Cit Citrus Mistress India Pale Ale, an IPA brewed with grapefruit peel, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, then, um, a couple more beers um, from the Foley Brothers Brewing Company in Brandon, Vermont. As uh, one of the uh, owners recommended this beer, their Fair Maiden Imperial IPA, 
clocking in 8.2 percent and it's batch three so it's really it said it's really fresh so pretty cool beer and then last but not least a can the one and only can that i bought um from the cambridge brewing company from cambridge massachusetts i got their flower child ipa in a can so it's really good that this store, this store the craft beer seller allows you to get singles because otherwise i would have spent a lot more money and uh you know eating more into my budget for beer for this two-day trip so now today um and if, uh, less than an hour from now we're going to be heading out and going to hill farmstead so I don't know if I'll be filming a separate video at Hill Farmstead uh, because there's a very good chance that I won't be able to film an interview with Sean Hill because I already emailed him and he said he's probably not going to have time because they're bottling today, Wednesday, so and they're brewing every day this week. So if by chance I get an interview, then I'll probably post a separate video. But otherwise, the second half of this video will be just you know maybe me reviewing a beer that I try on tap or just some video of the brewery or us driving to the brewery and then all the footage at the brewery but you know some footage of hill farmstead brewery so hope you enjoyed this quick vlog just to tell you what i've been up to you know so far pre hill farmstead craziness and beer geek beat them and uh i'll see you soon at hill farmstead Bye.